Good morning, this is Zuharn. Hope everybody's having a good day and I hope you continue to have a good day. Make sure you're drinking water um, and try to stay healthy, I guess. I'm talking to you this morning because I wanted to introduce my team uh, in a little bit greater detail. I'm not gonna discuss exactly the TV training that I went into, but they're all perfect TEMS. Uh, Tiranak is perfect because I spent a lot of feathers on making him perfect. Her perfect, sorry. But I wanted to discuss my team and why I picked what I picked and why my items are what I chose for them. So, um, currently my team is made up of Ukama, Tiranak, Minotaur, Rolder, Gialis, Volaren, Kinu, and Volcrane, as you can see. Um, the main core, I would say, would be Rolder, Minotaur, Volaren, and Tiranak. They are my defensive core. I'm primarily using them as the anchor for the team, with Minotaur and Rolder being high damage, uh, kind of like damage sponges basically. Minotaur and Rolder both have some pretty extensive HP TV training. Um, Volarend and Tiranak just kind of bounce off of each other pretty well. They balance each other's weaknesses pretty well, so um, it's the main reason why I picked those two. Uh, originally I had Typhoon on the team instead of Tiranak, but I just found that Typhoon just wasn't really doing a whole lot for the team, so I switched over to Tiranak and it's been much better since then. Um, I chose Reactive Vial on Rolder because that's pretty common. Um, it's one of the best items that you can have on Rolder just to cover his four different weaknesses. So, uh, sweat, sweat Band on Volaren because it needs the stamina regen, at least a little bit of help. Uh, heavy Armor for Tiranak because I wanted to get a solid damage resistance and I didn't really care about his speed too much. Honestly, um, the slowest time on my team if I remember, uh, I'm thinking correctly. So it didn't really bother me to have him have or have her have uh, some heavy armor on there. And then Minotaur has Wardrum because Minotaur benefits all four of those Thames uh, since all four of them are physical attackers. Also be benefits Volcrane and Gialis. So that's a plus with uh, Wardrum. And my primary damage outlets are Ukama, Gialis, and Volcrane. I forgot Kinu is also technically part of the defensive core, but uh, Tyranax more the major source for that core. <clears throat> the primary damage outlets are Ukama, Yalis, and Volcrane. And uh, Ukama, I'm still, I'm unsure if I'm going to keep Ukama in or if I'm going to switch Ukama out for something different. I think I still need a Water Tem, but I have a um, Platymus that's ready to go that I could throw in there. I'm just not sure if that's the one that I want to have on the team. So, still unsure about that, but um, Ukama is good for very, very fast uh, water damage. It has Hydrologist, so it hits really, really hard. Uh, unless paired with Tiranak, then obviously, uh, Tiranak has Intimidator, by the way, so that's an important thing to note for Tiranak. So, uh, helps shut off abilities. Uh, Gialis has Bait, and Ukama has Chamomile. Gialis is pretty commonly paired with Bait, and I think it makes sense given that people tend to want to burn Gialis, considering that it's weak to fire. So Embers is a very common attack into Gialis, and Bait keeps it from suffering from damage reduction. And Chamomile similarly protects uh, Ukama from any burns or other similar types of status effects like sleep. Um, Gialis and Volcrane are both my physical attackers. Volcrane uses Slingshot, which is very, very common in Volcrane now. Uh, pairing that with Hook, and Volcrane can be very scary very fast. So Gialis is just an all-around good, uh, solid attacker with very good bulk. And you pair that with the Wardrum from Minotaur, and they get scary real quick. And Kinu, meanwhile, is a more support tem on this team. Um, run, I run Hypnosis and Sacrifice, as well as Beta Burst and... I'm forgetting the fourth move, but there's a fourth support move. Um, I don't run Resin Trap on him, on her. Um, 
but that's pretty much the team that's pretty much their functionality and what their objectives are in each match um, I hope this has been uh, interesting and I'm going to start getting into some matches let's do it okay this is a very fighting heavy team makes sense because they have Tutsu so Tutsu is paired with its ability um, can't remember what it is but it reduces damage when it shares a type so I'm going to ban Tutsu there's no reason to have that on the team Shaoland so let's see what do we want to bring into Shaoland let's bring Minotaur um and they're likely to bring size munch so or, well maybe not size munch but maybe uh uh to rock so let's bring yalis they might stone ball but i think yalis has enough bulk to take a stone ball oh size munch okay that's a fight i did not want to face but it means that they're probably just going to heat up. Um, let's see, who do I want to ban? Let's ban Turok. Okay, Kinu. So that means we have Tolkien. Um, let's bring Rolder. Or do I bring Volcrane? I could bring Volcrane. Let's bring Rolder and, uh, hmm. Uh, we'll also bring Volarend. Okay, they're not really taking time to make their choices, so that's interesting. Pigapec would be kind of annoying to deal with with Bamboozles. Oh. Looks like they don't want that. Alright, so the question is do I bring Volarend or do I bring. or Volcrane or do I bring uh, Tyranak? I think I bring Volcrane here, despite the fighting types and the ground types. Um, actually, given that context, maybe I should bring. Yeah, let's bring. let's bring Tyranak. Okay. So my guess is that Size Munch is going to use Heat Up. I can Purgation onto Gialis, and then have a Gialis Helicopter Kick. Um, yeah, let's do that. Or I could swap out Minotaur for no, no, no. Let's let's purgation and helicopter kick. Soul shot into Gialis didn't do. Too much. You did about 30, uh, 40, 45 percent. There's the heat up. All right. Now I don't think my Gialis outspeeds here, and I'm confident Minotaur does not. Um. I appear to have gotten myself into a bit of a pickle. Because Size Punch's wreck is going to hit both. And if Gialis doesn't go first, honestly, it doesn't matter if Gialis goes first. Gialis is not taking out Size Punch. <clears throat> I think I got to bring him in later. So let's bring in um, Volarend and then Tyranek.
Tear Neck is going to take a lot of damage. Oh, but I stopped Rusher. That's good. Oh, not too bad. Oh, right, I forgot about Shallon. Shallon's going to come in with some damage, too. Well, I guess they weren't certain that they were going to kill... Uh, knock out uh, Minotaur. I mean, safe play. Um, let's feather Gatling and Embers onto. They could bring in Tolkien <clears throat> into that slot. It's entirely possible, but I think I. I don't see a reason for them to swap out um, Size Munch. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Wow. Nope, that's unfortunate. But they're both on really low. Oh, he didn't know X. Oh, man. That's really important to note. Because now he can size Munch's wreck again. I think I need Minotaur, so I think I throw in Roller here. And the Roller's gonna get absolutely creamed by the uh, Shallant. We're gonna double into. Uh, size Munch again. Honestly, uh, this game is not looking pretty good. I'm already down a Tem and a half, and they're pretty low damage right now. Granted, they're both on low stamina. It's possible that they switch in, but I don't really anticipate them doing that, because they don't really lose anything for staying in and doing some damage. Well, they could recover stamina. Okay, I want to see how much damage this does. Oh, that hurts. Oh, they rest? Okay. They double into Rolder. Okay. We're gonna purgation onto Volorin, because Volorin doesn't seem to be suffering anything. Uh, who will they bring in? for size much. Actually, no. We want to swap in somebody that will deal with the next threat. Honestly, it would make the most sense for them to send in handcuffs. They're Volfi. Yeah, I don't really see a lot of ways out of this, huh? if I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah, let's purgation Volarend and let's swap in... Uh, Yalis. Okay, so Seismund stayed in. That's not good. Oh, they didn't. Okay, cool. So their Seismund is slow. Unfortunately, since they sent Tolkien in, that means that Gialis is in danger. And I don't have the benefit of bait up anymore, so... <sighs> We're going to Toxic... Nope. Noxious Bomb. And then we'll Hook Kick into Handcuffs as well, the Volfi. Um, I'm anticipating Gialis going down here to Fiery Soul, but... I don't really have much option right now. Yep, there it goes. Yep. Wow, that is a shocking amount of damage.
We're gonna Noxious Bomb into Volpi again, and then we're gonna Purgation Minotaur. Plus two special defense? Hell, it lives. Doesn't necessarily mean it's happy about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That was... At least I got one Tem down. Gotta take the little victories. Let's see who they send in. <laughs> Oof. Shallon. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pee as well. Electric blow. I mean, honestly, it makes the most sense for them to not throw and have size munch come in. Well, maybe not size munch, but uh, Lawali come in for Tolkien. But they pretty much got this in the bag. <laughs> Got three tens. Can't be too upset about that. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, we're gonna knock this bomb into Blowali and then Goring into. Yep, that's kind of what I figured, but you know, gotta try. Might have been a little bit overkill, but you know, that's fine. Good game. Digicore. With Cycrox on top of it. Um, I'm going to ban Arachnite, because Arachnite gets crystal spikes. for the nature chromion. Now unfortunately, since Tiranak is going to be on the field, that means that Rusher is not going to activate. Um, let's see, who do I ban? Monko or Mimit? Let's ban Mimit. I don't need them having a Swiss army knife. Let's put Volcrane in. Auto locking. Um, Gialis and Rolder, I think. Yeah. OB10. So OB10 has Bush, which is a really frustrating ability with its um, trait that allows it to pass on whatever uh, buffs it gets to its teammate. So that's something to be careful of. Now, in all likelihood, they will outspeed Minotaur. And I don't like the idea of that. I can't switch in Gialis because Gialis is weak to digital. I can swap in Rolder. Yeah, let's swap in Rolder and we'll Embers the Chromion. Oh, I forgot. I'll be knocking out the uh, Gotta Go Fast perk too, or trait. Two Hedgeye and Embers into Chromion. It probably isn't going to matter. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, we're not off to a great start. Um... Ooh, I think it's coming in. 
I don't know why I brought Yalis now that I think about it. Let's pull in Volcrane. Okay, Obi Ten's gotta get handled quick. Okay, so Hedgen is close to empty, so I'm gonna hook into. Yeah, I'm gonna hook into Obi Ten and then Flaming Meteorite into Obi Ten. Oh, that did way more damage than I was expecting. And they outsped off of my hook. Oh, it's not a good day today. I mean, there isn't really much I can do here. Just stone trench, hope for the best, and then outgrow. Oh! They must have been anticipating a switch. Wow. I was not anticipating that. Just OX my Tyranac for nothing. So we're down to their last two Thames. Cycrox and Bonko. We're gonna flaming meteorite into Cycrox. No, we're gonna flaming meteorite into Monko. And then we'll swap in Minotaur. I want to preserve Tyranac just a little bit longer. And if I can go first, which I don't think I will, but if I can go first. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, not quite. Swapped out immediately. So if I want to spread into neck again, yeah, I should have swapped out. And there's not really anything I can do there. All right, we're gonna go after Monko. Not hasty lunge. This is why I hate digi teams, because it's just rapid fire. It doesn't matter how you build your team, it's just, yep, you knock down a couple of Thames, I knock down a couple of Thames. It's just kind of dull. I mean, it works, honestly, I can't really complain too much, because it does work. So we're gonna lose to my harmful microwaves. Yeah. And then uh, try and flame the meteorite into Monko. If that gets a knockout, then that'll be beneficial, but I don't think it's gonna matter because I OX Tyranac. And I still don't think I get the 60% damage. 61%. Not onto Monko. No way. And I OX. Well, let's just let him finish it out. It's been a rough first couple of games, but maybe I'll win the next one. I should have picked better Thames, honestly. I, I don't know why I picked Gialis into this team. It didn't make sense to pick Gialis into this team, because Gialis is weak to digital. It doesn't make a huge difference because Minotaur and Kinu are both also weak to digital, so I didn't. I don't know if I would change the choices I made, but learning experience, 
I'll watch, look back through the footage later and uh, see if there was anything better that I could have done. But all right. Um, okay, so I think we're banning Tutsu again, simply because it provides too much uh, defensive coverage for these te these Thames. Um, see who, who do they ban? That's an interesting choice, but okay. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why they chose that one. Hmm. I'm gonna lead with Volcrane. Oh, I see what their strategy is with um, Mawala. You m have Mawala and Seismunch come in at the same time. Mawala uh, wake up slaps the Seismunch and has Seismunch heat up. You get a free heat up. Um, okay. Let's see. We're gonna bring Gialis in here. Now I wanna have Volarend on the team, but I think that they're gonna ban Volarend. That or um, Minotaur. Okay. I think I wanna ban Seismunch. I think Ragnet might be the best. Yeah, let's ban Ragnet. Then we'll pick Volrend. Grunder into their team, and I don't remember the crystal bird. Um, hmm. I think I can bring Tyrannac for sure into. Oh, I'm forgetting its name. And then I think I'll also bring Ukama here. Okay, so first things first. <laughs> Especially with Garheo getting that. Uh, so I'm going to be swapping um, Volcrane out for Volarend. Maybe. So the problem is with the choices that I made. Uh, Garunder's an issue, and if they know that I'm swapping into uh, Volarend, then they can just electric do, use an electric attack and a water attack into that slot. And while the water attack isn't going to do a whole lot to Volarend, the electric attack would. So I think I gotta switch in Tyranag here, and then Helicopter Kick. Actually, they might use a ground attack, knowing that I'm gonna wanna switch out. Let's hook into Gario and Helicopter Kick. I don't know if this is a great plan. 
So if Volcrane gets hit with a water attack, he's toast. I'm gonna risk it. Yep, okay, cool. That's so cool. Okay, we are going to Stone Drench. send it. They could send in Mawala and just have... Alright, if they're going to send in Mawala, then I'm going to send in Volarend. Let's see what they do. Tuvine. Tuvine, that's the name of it. <laughs> Gario. Mawala. Okay. Is it Haka? No, it is Hypnotist. Interesting. Um, so we're going to Stone Trench, and then we're going to Purgation onto Bullcrane. Oh no, I forgot that if they go after, if they don't go after Volcrane, then Purgation's going to trigger uh, Evasion. It'll still get the buff, but it knocks out the Evasion. Sure, Purgation, not the Volrend. Or at least gone for a hook. There's Gario. Okay, cool. That didn't bite me too much in the butt. We are going to have Volcran swap out for Ukama, and then we're going to Noxious Bomb into Gario. Okay, um, so I think Grunder is coming in, the question is where, um, let's water cannon into Gary, and we're going to Noxious Bomb into Gary. I don't think electric resists water. Well, that should be fine if they do switch in. Oh, but Toxic does resist water. Yeah, I didn't think they would actually be swapping in Garunder into that slot, so that also kind of bit me in the butt. Let's swap in Volcrane 
and then we're going to uh, Feather Gatling into Garunder. Garunder's probably going to go for an electric attack into Volverind. I'm just concerned about the potential for uh, fighting type attacks into fighting type melee attacks. Not melee either. Is it fighting? Okay. We are going to hook into Grunder. And then we're going to Purgation again into Volcrane. Now, unfortunately, um, I don't know if this will take out Mo Mawala. I think it will, but I don't know. So, this is either a really bad... Because I don't think I can swap in Ukama again. Let's Stone Trench, and then we're going to Noxious Bomb into Gario. Do I... Honestly, I don't know. I'm going to Feather Gatling into Mawala. I don't think I outspeed Mawala, but... Mm -mm. Plus six didn't do it. Yep, that's going to be that for that Tem. Ah, I should have knocked just bomb into Gario. That was not a good choice. That'll be that. Okay, who can they send in? Tolkien? It makes sense to, sense to send in Tolkien. I might send in Garunder though. Let's send in Gialis. If they send in Tolkien, I'm pretty screwed. I wonder if Noxious Bomb would have taken out Gary. <sighs> well, I guess we won't know. Yep, it is Tolkien. I should have. Sent to Nukama, like I thought. Oh, I think he's gonna die regardless, so let's not bother. Um. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Mm. Toxic Bloom? Do we Toxic Bloom? I mean, I know Gallus is going to die, so I'm wondering if they double into Volorant here. Two Vine. Okay. I mean, Gallus was going to die. Kind of surprised that they decided not to uh, go for Volorant. Send a new comma. And then we're probably going to swap out because I know they're bringing in Volker or uh, Garunder into that slot. We're going to swap out for Tyrannac. And then we're going to <sighs> lose this game because I don't have anything I can use to deal with Tuvine. Bummer. 
Oh, no, that's not true. I have Tyranag. Well, purg purgation into Tyranag slot. I don't see any way of winning this, so I think I'm going to concede. You know what? No, let's play it out. Let's see what happens. We're going to embers into two vine, and then... I think Feather Gat Gatling is resisted by electric, but so is Noxious Bomb, so... Not really getting anything there. Um... Yeah, Volarin might have been a bad bring. It's Noxious Bomb into Two Vine as well. And bye bye, Tear Deck. Didn't do anything. Water Cannon 2 Vine, and then Noxious Bomb again. But uh, that's fine. I think I'm going to be done for the night. Um, I'm going to post this even though I lost three in a row. I think it's important that we share the loss that we have because not everybody's perfect and people are going to make mistakes. And uh, I'm going to be able to review this footage later and see what errors and issues I had with the teams and what mistakes that I made that I could improve upon. But uh, I hope everybody has a good night.